Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is Thursday the 7th of May. We have new mods. This is a two-day roundup. I didn't get to do a mod review yesterday. I didn't get a chance to. So what I thought I'd do is wrap them all up in one review. You may have seen some of these on someone else's review if you watched yesterday's, but I thought I'd wrap them all up. We have had a ton of updates over the last two days. We have had an update to the SDL group pack by RL Modding. Um, that's the Same, Same tractor. The Veltra S series by Blauer has had an update. The Vaderstat Rapid 300C 400C Cedar by Matt26 has had an update. The JCB 435S Stage 4 and 5 by Redcat 3D and Pixel Design has been updated. The One Hand Bag by Tarxy007 and Hassel Mods has had an update. That was just a seed bag. What's been added to that is now a fertiliser bag. The one bags you can pick up and move yourself. Wilhelmina Forest, Crater Lake and Rogue River, all by Catalyzer Gaming, have all had updates. The Lizard D46, D47 pack by Castan18 and Austri29 has had an update. The Adjuranti pack, Auto Load Bail Trailers and all sorts mixed in with that, um, has uh, by DD Mod Passion has had an update. The Slurry Dealer pack by Holger Sengstock has had an update. The Grain Garage by Daniel X321, the flat uh, flat map by Prismason, that has had a complete overhaul. So much to list. I would suggest go onto the mod tab, the Farming Simulator website, or go into the mod tab in game and have a look. That has had literally a complete overhaul. Loads of new textures, uh, machinery, uh, buildings removed and put in as placeables. Uh, so it's worth a look um, on flat map. Um, and I think that's it for updates. Talking of which, the Slurry Dealer Pack by Holger Sengstock. This is the one that's now got the Profi and the um, Easy version. Um, I still cannot get this little hatch to open. Now it does say the changelog 1.6 fixed the issue with collisions, because there was a collision around the front here. But this still I can't get to work. Um, if I open this menu up and it says Profi, that is supposed to open so that if you use the Profi versions of the tankers that come along with all these different packs, you can put the actual pipe into there and use it kind of more realistically. Still cannot get that to open. If I press X, I just jump. I thought that was going to be part of the update. It doesn't seem to have been. I did say when I first reviewed this, maybe I was doing something wrong. I cannot figure out how that thing opens, but that's been updated, but hasn't updated as I thought it might have done. So first of the mods we're going to look at. Um, this is the small liquid tank by Missy B. Uh, this was originally the fertilizer herbicide, I think it was the pack that came with the tank. Well this was taken off, it's now back as this version. Um, let me just have a quick look here. 60,000 litres, yep I thought I would double check. Sorry I'm just, I've said this before, I have my PC open on the right hand side and so I can have a look and see what's what. Nice tidy mod. I think you only get the one tank now and it does both. I think whereas the original version had two separate ones if I recall correctly. Um, this you will find under placeable. This you'll find under silos because it's a storage tank. So there you go, the small liquid tank by Missy B. 60,000 litre capacity. This will do herbicide. It will do liquid fertiliser. It will do both in the same tank for only four grand. Um, and it's only slot counts only two as well really low on the slot count good capacity good price not bad at all i have to say that's the first moving on we have got i mean it's an absolute smorgasbord today this not specifically this but this um this is pallets by dd mod passion we had some stuff come out the other week from dd mod passion regarding this pallet setup and this is an addition to um this allows you to place them anywhere you want the map so kind of simulate delivery if you want to do that um, but this has also got the, um, you can come at this from any side with a skid steer loader, front loader, telehandle, wheel loader without an attachment and it puts the forks on the front of it. So this new version has now got um, fertiliser tank, herbicide tank, seed pallet, sapling pallet, poplar pallet and sugarcane pallet is now part of this pack. These can be found um, under miscellaneous um placeables because you can put it anywhere on the map it's under placeables so after my initial these were the first ones that had all this stuff in the cortiva fertilizer tank herbicide tank seed pallets poplars and sugarcane pallet i'll show you what i mean if i go onto the herbicide tank click on that 
bring it out and place it it puts it wherever you want on the map now here's the thing with that that we can let me just drop that off so not only can you place it wherever you want on the map provided you own the land you need to own the land it won't let you place it somewhere you don't own if i come up to it you get that come up click it and it puts forks on for you uh, now there is a setting on this which i missed last time uh where was it oh now someone said there was a setting Detach. Oh, that's weird oh no that was for the forks ignore me on that it was something else there's so many mods so then take it wherever you want to take it when you drop it off like so the forks disappear so if you struggle particularly with pallet forks and stuff like that and you don't like them very much and they're a bit awkward doesn't matter you don't need them you can just come up to it with whichever, whichever vehicle from whatever side he says that's interesting it didn't come up for that it does say come on it from any side maybe it needs to be in the front for this one there we go come up to it bang lift up and away you go place it wherever you want and then detach job done there we go um, so that's the pallet pack by DD Mod Passion, which adds those extra things so you can place them if you want. And you've also got the pallet situation going on there, which I kind of like. That's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have? Now, some of these are mixed up between yesterday's and today's. I'm just going to kind of do them all together, how I've got them laid out. What we've got in front of us here, uh, this is the Sack Potato Pallet. This is by M M M's? MMS? mods um this is a potato pallet you can use this for feeding your pigs if you want to or you can use it for filling up potato planters if you want to do that as well so it's available in the mod tub you buy it you put it down or in the store um, you'll need pallet forks or something like that but it does work with the big bag lifter if you look there it says csz big bag handler um, these are available as part of the csz pack also by dd mod passion that's not in the mods today but i know people will ask what am i using um, so if, again if you don't like using pallet forks if you find them awkward and frustrating you can do that and it will pick it up and move them around like that so we're going to have a look at that in a bit more detail in a minute because we have also got a potato planter in the mods over the last couple of days so we'll have a look at that too um, this you will find here under pallets right at the very end 460 for 150 litres um, unless you've got potatoes on hand you can put seed into a potato planter or you can put potatoes back into potato planter so you've got a couple of options um, there you go what we'll do is have a look at the next one then we can have a look at this one hopefully work well, I haven't tested this yet one this yet one this one yet anyway moving on we've got this this is the Grimmer GL430 potato planter um, we've got a 420 in game and we've got a slightly large one this is different one it requires less horsepower two we've got fertilizer tanks on this as well which the standard in game one doesn't have um, width is exactly the same it's a three meter width planter nicely detailed pretty cool uh, this one is by let me find it this is going to for this is by bass boven bass dmi 20 millimeter normandy um, you'll find it under potato technology the standard in-game one there the gl420 will do potatoes or seed and it's a potato planter and then you've got the gl860 which is a little bit bigger that's a six meter one but if we go right to the end all the way across there the 430 is also a three meter one but it will do potatoes and seed but it will also do fertilizer which is, I think it's quite handy. It also requires less horsepower as well. It only requires 110. I think the standard in-game one requires 150, I think it was. Yeah. Um, slightly smaller tank space on this, I think. Um, and this will use up how many slots? Seven slots to use. So what we'll do is if I grab that... <laughs> this is where I find it won't work. <laughs> it should do. These two should work together. That's kind of the whole point. I'll take my potato pallet. So what I'll do is come up next to it and put it in. I was thinking, oh, you pick it up and put it in, or maybe you could put the bags up individually, but you can't. You come up next to it with this, and it will fill up from there, I would assume. Now, what I've got to hope is this hooks up. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go and get a tractor. But that's not a problem. We've got a few knocking about. 
Please hook up. No. Bear with me one second. So, we hook up. What should happen now is L3, and there we go. Fills up from the pallet. So that's your planter to put into operating position. We do this, and off you go. You just plant your potatoes, and job done. What I will do, might as well just show it. I haven't got any fertiliser in it. I didn't put any in, but you uh, actually know what. No half measures, Mr. Silly P. There we go. Just need a little bit of adjusting. It will put seed or potato in, and then your fertiliser just needs to adjust it a little bit to get to the trigger. And away it goes. That amount of potatoes isn't going to last very long, but that's it in operation. There you go. That's the Grimmer GL430 uh, by Bass Boven Bass and DMI 20mm Normandy. Moving on. We've got this. This is the SIP uh, Spider. 354 ALP. It's by White Ball Modding. This is a tedder. Um, it's a 3.5 meter, I believe. Um, nice tidy bit of kit. Does what you would expect it to do. It teds, but we will have a look at that in just a second. You'll find this under tedders. There you go. 5,500, 3.5 meter. Requires 25 horsepower to run. And we use six slots. Um, options available? There are none. You get what you get. It is what it is. Not that you haven't seen a tether being used before, but. Open it up. Turn it on. Drop it down. And away we go. nice smooth animation for the unfolding does what it should do it's only a narrow one it's only designed for small farms small fields small tractors that kind of thing if you've only got a small low horsepower tractor and you still want to touch your stuff this could be the thing for you there we go that's that one moving on sorry if i appear to be rushing through i'm trying to get through them all we have got just over here this is and i apologize if i pronounce this wrong pick button uh, this is by 76 Max. This is a bale spike. Um, this isn't a front loader one or anything like that. This is a three point link bale spike. Um, does what you would expect. It spikes bales, picks them up, but it attaches directly onto the three point link. So you've got that option of up and down. Um, obviously, if you've got it on a front loader or something like that, it's a bit more. There are a load of different adapters available now in the CSZ pack and various different ones in the Mod Hub. So there are all sorts of ways you can potentially hook a three point link attachment onto a vehicle other than just using a three-point link now but um, that's what it does this you'll find under bailing technology i think is where i ended up finding it there we go pick bottis uh, 500 to buy and it will use two slots that's by 76 max no options available you get what you get there we go uh moving on we might as well look at these now. Let's get, let's get on to them, shall we? This one came out yesterday, on the 6th. This one came out today. These are both by Black Eyes Modding. Uh, we've got the John Deere 7030 Premium Series, just here, which we'll have a look at first. Uh, positives and negatives to this one. Positives, I like it. Love the sound of it. Sounds brilliant. Negatives, slot count. On console, it is off the charts on this one. Um which is a pity it's a nice looking tractor although i did have someone message me today saying it's a lovely mod sounds great but doesn't look anything like the real version i i'm not a john deere specialist or expert i don't know for definite um but it's a nice looking mod nice looking tractor let's jump in it Listen. Don't 
does sound good. Um, lights all round, beacons, indicator, indicators, horn. I know people love to hear the horn. Um, in cab, nice, neat, and tidy. Does sound quite cool inside as well. Uh, lights as they turn on go on there. There's not a beacon on in here, but that's not too much of a problem. There aren't any um, options here for doors or windows. You get what you get. There are a few options available in purchasing this. So that's what it looks like, what it sounds like. So that's, like I said, the positive side of it. Negatives, slot count on this. 62 62 slots wow um, that's fairly high uh, you'll find this under medium tractors another pro for this though is the price it's not too expensive it goes up to a 209 horsepower it does say four slots there because I've already got one um, but it is trust me <laughs> 62 slots so options available on the front we can have standard with a, a hitch we have 360 kilogram weight, 560, 760, 1010, or front hydraulic if you want to go down that route. Uh, wheel brand, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, that's it. Under Michelin, we've only got standards. Under Trelleborg, we've got a couple of more options. We've got standard, we've got wides, we've got narrows, which makes it not a bad size tractor to have narrows on. There are a few that have different ones. We've got twins all round, wheel weights wider weights back to standard then design we can have it with or without fenders I think I went without didn't I with or without fenders then we've got engine size let's just click back uh, it's got 151 horsepower 7130 7230 161 horsepower 7330 185 horsepower 7430 196 7530 209 horsepower we also have the option of a front loader attacher yes or no so there you go. Those are all the options available on it. Like I say, with a few options changing stuff, we're up to 101 grand for a 209 horsepower tractor. That's not bad. I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. You get what you get. It's not bad, that. Not bad. Just a bit about the slot count. Then the flip side of that is you've got this one here. Also by Black Eyes Modding. Um, this is the new Holland T4. Um, we haven't got a T4 standard in game, I don't think. We've got a T5, haven't we? We have a T4 on FS17. But anyway, um, there's a few nice options on this. Made by the same modder. I know it's a smaller tractor and whatnot. Um, nicely detailed. This has got opening doors and an opening rear window. And it's only 12 slots. So you've got 62, 12 it's an interesting one that I do like this option with the Italian flag on there that's really quite cool what I like about this as well is the um, the horsepower options it goes down to a 55 horsepower the T455 55 horsepower then goes up to a 115 I think it is you can get but we'll have a look at that in a second again sounds great almost a panoramic view it hasn't quite got it's got a little bar there um, but anyway, lights all round, beacons, alternate flashing. I do quite like that as an option. Horn. Maybe you've just been waiting for a T4. I don't know. In cab. nice and neat is what it's like I say it's, it's not quite panoramic but not far off but if we go L1 R1 right stick up and down or down up and down opens the left window a uh, door window right stick side to side will open and close the other door like I say trying to get them to do this without opening and closing both but and then L1, R1 and left stick will open that one. So the doors is L1, R1 and right stick. 
rear window, L1, R1 and left stick. Like so. Very nice. So, you'll find this in store. It's under small tractors. Um, I'm just thinking, we don't have, we haven't got a T4, have we? I'm not imagining it. Yeah, we start with the T5. So we go T4 series. Um, again, fairly cheap to buy. We look at our options. We've got configuration standard at the front. Front hydraulic. There's no weights option on this one. We can have at the top left beacon, right beacon, left and right beacon, if you want to go for that. We start on the T455. We can go 65 at 65 horsepower, 75 at 75 horsepower, 85 at 85, 95 at 95, 105 at 105, and the 115 at 115. And then we're back to 55 horsepower. So quite a few engine options on that one all the way up. So if you want to start off small and just pull it around small machinery, you can, but you can go up to 115 horsepower, which is pretty good. And for the 115, it's only 77 grand, so it's not going to break the bank either. Front loader attacher, yes or no. We can have with with front fenders and Italian flag, without front fenders, without front fenders and Italian flag, all back to normal. Wheel setup, we can have standard, wides, narrows, and back again. There's no option on tyre brand or anything on those, you just get those as your options. So a few options available. Nice little tractor, nice little mod. Um, I'd say for the slot count on that one, pretty cool. It, it does surprise me, I'll be honest. The, both from the same model, one being so high and one being, I mean, fairly low, let's be honest, compared to a lot of the stuff that's coming out at the moment. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, right. We are being spoiled. Not a whiff of a three metre cultivator in sight. These are great days we're living because we have this. This is, the, there are two of these actually. Um, this is the uh, Breviglieri. 450 pack by RL Modding. There are two of these. A 6 metre power harrow and an 8 metre power harrow. These will use six slots each. Incredibly detailed. Really nice looking mod. There's a few options on the back roller we can choose as well. This does fold up but because it's a power harrow and runs off the PTO as well it requires a fair bit of horsepower. The 6 metre I think is 250 and the 8 metre is 350 so for, for a 8 metre you're going to require a fair bit but power harrows do because they're actually they're not dragged they actually move that's the whole point about the power harrow hence the word power. Um, so you'll find these in here under power harrows So we've got the 450 600, 32 grand, not too expensive in all honesty for a, for a 6 metre. Um, 240 horsepower that require. And then we've got the 450 800, 40 grand, requires 350 horsepower. So yeah, wasn't wrong on those. Options available on the back, we can have it with a packet roller like that. We can have it with a cage roller like that. Or we can have it with a spiked roller like that. Then back to packet roller again. Nice options. I think I went with the 8 here. And I've gone with the, the bigger Zerion as well because if it needs 350 horsepower, I needed something with a bit of oomph to get it going. So, folds up like so. Nice and neat. It's a big old unit. It doesn't look. I thought oh, I'll put it on the Zerion, it will look tiny, but it, it really doesn't look tiny on the back of here. I'll turn it on, and you can see the blades underneath rotating, that's it's powered, it doesn't just get dragged, that does the job as you go down. The packet roller and the rollers on the back are just what smooth out the seed bed, ready for planting. But, Even with the horsepower this has got, four, five, six miles an hour, it's, you know, this is not going to be a quick machine over the ground. And it comes under part of cultivators because it cultivates, and obviously now that our cultivators on FS19 are split into those different categories, whereas before it was all just cultivators, now we've got disc harrows, uh, we've got um, cultivators, and we've got power harrows. So, uh, there you go. 
lights on the back as well. Turn those off, fold it up, and away we go. And as if that's not enough, we've got another cultivator, and it's not a three metre. I should have to unfold it, shouldn't I, because it won't let me unhook it. So there you go, uh, that's the uh, Breviglieri 450 pack by RL Modding, the 6 metre and the 8 metre. Next to this though, we have got this. This is the Pottinger, TerraDisc 1000, 1000, no, 10,001, 10001T. Let's just go with that, shall we? My mind was fried and I can't remember numbers. That's good. Let's turn that off and have a quick look, shall we? Nicely detailed. Nice size. 10 metres. We've got a 10 metre one. 10! How exciting is that? Very cool indeed. Uh, this is by Mephiu FS. You'll find this, as I was saying before, you might be new to the game and you may not, uh, uh, you know, like I say, under, on FS17 these are all together. Power harrows, cultivators and disc harrows are all just under cultivators and with FS19 they're all separated out. So if you are new to the game, power harrows, cultivators and disc harrows all do the same job. They cultivate, they prepare the seed bed and they're just in separate categories because of the actual way they work and the design of them. Um, this one is under disc harrows because it's a terra disc. Right at the end there. 60,000 to buy. This will use up, how many slots was this? Seven slots, which isn't too bad. No options available. You get what you get. And it requires 350 horsepower as well. So fairly high on the horsepower requirement. Again, another reason why I grabbed the, uh, the Zerion. Don't hit that one. I do like, and it's still one of those things that you kind of forget about, you don't think about very often, but the tyre deformation on vehicles with under load and turning and over bumps and stuff, you know, we kind of get a bit blasé about it and, and forget, but, you know, I like it. So, drop it down. And this isn't powered, this is just dragged, and as you can see it goes a lot faster than the other one does. It is a little bit wider as well, so, you know, the power harrow situation comes down to a kind of preference. It depends what kind of thing you're looking for. Um, but yeah, this is nice. Does the job well. It's a big bit of kit. Don't get me wrong, but very cool indeed. Looks good. Works well. And it's just over three times the size of the normal ones we get. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good indeed. There you go, that's the Pottinger Teradisc 10001T by Matthew FS. Very, very cool. I'm going to turn the engine off on that. Jump out. Which brings me on to, if I'm not mistaken, the last of our mods. This was one that came out yesterday, I think. It's one of yesterday's. This is the Trailed Plough by Pepe9... This isn't. Um, I'm going to go and grab a tractor. It will be when I get to it. The Trailed Plough by Pepe978. There are two in this pack. Team FSI, so this is the TFSI MBT3 G2. Um, it's it's a plough within the end of the day. I mean, let's be honest, it's a plough. There's this one, and there's a, another one, and they all hook up very nicely. But my mind's gone blank as to the size of them. These are under ploughs. So the BG2 G2, which is the two, uh, one meter, oh, I thought it was a two, and then the BGT, uh, the BT3 G2 at 1.3 meters, uh, 7,500 and 8,700 respectively, and these use how many slots was this? Two, two each on these. Um, options available: we can change the main color from the new green, old green, coon red, blue and John Deere Green, if you want to go for that. And at the end of the day, they plough. They do what they're supposed to do. So they're not very big. They're, you know, they're, again, these are designed for small 
Small machines. And I'm pretty sure because I've only got 55 horsepower on this, that's why it's struggling so much. That didn't even dawn on me actually when I brought this over. I just thought it made us a tiny plough, it'll be fine on this. But anyway, as you can see, it ploughs, as it should do. Well, I say as it should do, it should do with a better one. Nice animations actually. Having that slowed down, you can actually see those where it's turning all that over. There you go. Let's raise that. there you go that's it that's the trail plow by pepe 978 that's it for the mods for today and yesterday um i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching